comes the, here comes the, here comes the, y'all don't really want it like no. yeah. here comes the, no. here comes the, no. here comes the, y'all don't really want it like no. yeah. here comes the, no. here comes the, no. here comes the, y'all don't really want it now. Pathway from uh, from Mosley is generally through Greater Birmingham. Uh, they're selected for Greater Birmingham generally from Mosley, from from Mosley, Camp Hill, Solly Hill. Uh, they are then from Greater Birmingham selected for either North Mids or even Midlands. So there's a pathway there for them, but uh, it greatly depends upon their coaches recommending them for uh, initially. Initially, Greater Birmingham. We then asked him what were the benefits for youngsters while playing rugby. Oh, rugby is a massive benefit for any any young player. Uh, any sport is a is a benefit to them. It gives them um, discipline. It gives them a sense of well-being. Um, and I think that one of the major things working in a team, they get to appreciate what their little bit does for the great the greater good of the team. And certainly moving on from the youth rugby, the senior rugby, it gives them a greater um, experience of working with other people, not only with rugby but outside of rugby. Um, particularly uh, if they if they've got part time jobs, they'll they'll realise that teamwork is of massive um, importance and benefit to them. And if they've been involved in the team any any team. Um, those guys that have been involved in sport will, will shine above the people that uh, haven't been involved. Everybody knows that rugby is a physical sport to say the least. We ask what is done to make sure players feel like they're in a safe pair of hands while playing the sport. Well there are a few have certain guidelines that we that we follow. Um, first and foremost all the all the coaches are qualified up to, well, myself and the level two, the coaching, coaching staff here are all CRB checked. So it's a safe environment for, for young men and women to come into. There's proper um, physio care available to them. There's uh, a doctor here on site on the Saturday with the first team, so there's plenty of medical care. There's pastoral care that's required as well with uh, the safety officers. Uh, it, within the club, and that's all within the rugby seal of approval for the for the juniors. So it's a, it's a, a real safe and comfortable environment for people to come into, and uh, particularly here at Mosley, I feel it's uh, extremely well organised. Being a head coach for both Mosley Rugby Club and Greater Birmingham, we asked what he thought made a great rugby player. Well, firstly, great rugby players have a fantastic attitude. They'll, uh, they'll take the hardships and the good times in the same step. There's always a smile on their face. They will always, always question. They will always come up with something. They'll always have their own answers. They'll always offer their opinions. Uh, and they'll listen. Following our interview with Tim Hardwick, we asked Sol Dakers, a Mosley Colt and Worcester Warriors development player, where he first started playing the sport. Well, it started off when I first went to secondary school and it was the main sport there. Um, and we had an inter-school trial for the team and then we had an A team and a B team. And then we started playing against other schools and that's what really brought me into it. We then asked, what age did he get into the sport and what made it so appealing? Well, I started when I was 12 going into secondary school. And um, the most appealing thing was really the physical aspect that other sports didn't have, that we could play, the contact element. And you could really start to get, get down into it. And it was really a good thing that people had respect for each other whilst they were hitting, hitting each other and making big collisions. They still had respect for each other. Being a fully committed rugby player, we wanted to know how much dedication does it take to become a successful player within the sport? Well, it hardly depends on where you want to go in rugby. If you really want to make it to the top level, you're going to have to start really dedicating yourself and a lot of time to it, like at least three times a week to train hard and stuff like that and really start to put your, put your work in. 
because it does vary. A lot of people that rely on natural talent when they start, and then as they get older, you can tell that their dedication has let, let them down because they can't carry on that natural ability. You need to really work hard at it to become a good player. Dedication seems to be an important part of the sport to be successful. We asked what sacrifices has to be made to achieve your goals. Well, sometimes you have to think before the night before an important game and the rest of the boys might go out and you have to really say that you're going to have to stay in and really focus on the game and you're going to have to really make the kind of sacrifices that sometimes might be hard at the time but at the end of the day it will get you through the game and see you off well. Lastly, we wanted to know what was his favourite part of the sport and why? Well, for me it's got to be having the ball in hand and, and breaking the line of defence and running through with people on your back and your own team screaming at you and people from the sidelines really shouting and cheering you on and it all rests on you what to do next, how to score, you can either score the try or you can mess it up and when you make that right decision to score the try it's a really good feeling.